Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. We are in the process of designing a one page website from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And we have completed the design of the desktop version. You can check the link of the playlist in the description below. And in the last video, we started with the responsiveness of our design and we completed the header section and the our client section. So in this video, we will start with the about us section. So let's get started. So let's start by typing a comment about us. And first of all, let's target all the sections all together. For the section, we will have a padding of 100 pixels for top. But for the sides, we need to have padding of 30 pixels. So here we will type padding 100 pixels for top, 30 pixels for uh, right, 0 for bottom and 30 for the left. So we can see that the padding has been applied. Alright, if you go to the Figma design, we can see that uh, the About Us section has a different layout. It has the text on the top and uh, the image at the bottom. So for that, we need to change the flex direction. So let's go ahead and uh, type About section, section content, and we'll set the flex direction to column. And now we can see that the text is at the top and the image is at the bottom. Now let's also add some margin to the top of this image and we'll also remove the left margin of the image. So let's type about section, section content, IMG and uh, margin left of zero and also margin top of 30 pixels. All right, that's it with the about a section. Now let's start with the our project section. So let's type a comment. Now, if you go to the Figma design, we can see that all the projects are laid one below the other. Now, here in our styles, we had set the display of the our project section to grid. So, if we scroll up, we can see for projects, we have a display of grid. And we added a grid template columns of 1FR, 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 which means that three items will be displayed in one row. Now, we just need to change these three 1FRs to just 1FR. So let's type projects gallery and we'll set the grid template columns to 1FR. Now we can see that only one project is displayed in one row. Now let's also set a height to our uh, image because since this is a mobile view, we don't want the height to be too much. So I'll type projects gallery IMG and we'll set a height of 240 pixels. All right, now let's go to the Figma design and uh, we can see that in our project section in a mobile version, we just have four images right here. But here we can see that in total, we have a lot more images. So we just need to display four images in our mobile version. So let's go to the HTML and uh, we will make some changes over here. In the project section, we will add a class to hide certain images. So we'll just display these four images at the top and uh, we will hide these two images. So for that, we'll give a class to these two images and we'll just give it a class of hide. And in the same way, we'll give a class of hide to the last image as well. All right, so now let's go to our style.css and uh, we will target the hide class. So we'll type projects gallery img.hide. So this will target all the images inside the project gallery, which has the class of hide and I will just display it to none. So now let's scroll down and uh, we can see that just four images are being shown. All right, that's it with the project section. Now let's move to the testimonial section. Now if you take a look at the Figma design, we can see that the testimonial section has the image at the top and uh, the text at the bottom. So let's go over here to the index.html file and uh, here we can see that we have a division with a class of slide container and in that we have the content and the image. So we'll make this division display of flex and then we can uh, add flex direction of column. So let's just do that. So we'll type testimonial slide container and we'll set the display to flex and flex direction to column and we'll also set the width to auto and uh, 
a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. Now let's style the image. So we'll tap testimonial slide container img and we'll set the width to 150 pixels. Now let's center it horizontally. So for that we'll type margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right. Now we want this image to be at the top of the text. So for that you have an option in Flexbox called order. You can add orders to different items in the Flexbox and uh, the items will be displayed in the order you set in Flexbox. So let's go ahead and type order of minus 1 over here. And now we can see that the image is at the top. Now let's add a margin top to this content so that we'll be having a space between the image and the content. So we'll type testimonials container content and we'll give a margin top of 50 pixels. I think that's a little too much so we'll just change it to 30 pixels or that looks fine. Now we'll also remove the padding that we have over here at the sides of our content because we had already given a padding of 30 pixels to all the sections. So let's type padding of 0. And I think that's pretty much it with uh, the testimonial section. Alright, now let's style the contact section. And I will add a comment. Now we want all these text fields to be one below the other. So here we will type contact section group. And we'll set the flex direction of the group to column. And we need to remove the right margin of the first field and the left margin of the second field. So let's type contact section input of type text colon first child and we will set the margin right to zero and we'll copy this and paste it down here and we'll type last child and for that we'll set the margin left to zero and I think we should decrease the spacing between these text fields. So let's type contact section input of type text and I will set a margin bottom of uh, 24 pixels or I think we will set it to 30 pixels or right, that looks fine all right now the last thing we need to style is the footer now if you go to the Figma design we can see that for the footer we have all the elements one below the other so we need to set the flex direction of the footer container to column so here we'll go ahead and type a comment and we'll type footer container and we'll set the flex direction to column and we'll set the text aligned to the center. Now let's set a margin top to the footer nav. So we'll type footer container footer nav and we'll set the margin top to 80 pixels. So now we have spacing between these photo navs. Now lastly we need to have the logo at the bottom. So here we can see the logo is at the bottom. So let's target the logo over here. Footer container logo and I will set the order of the logo to 2. So now our logo has moved to the bottom over here. Now we need to remove the spacing at the top. So for that we will set the padding top of the footer container to zero. So that's basically it with the footer and with that we have completed the mobile version of our one page website. So here we can see this is the header and uh, then we have the our client section, about us section, the our project section where we have just four projects being displayed and the testimonial section, the contact section and the footer. Now in the next video we will work with the mobile nav so that when we click on this icon the mobile navigation should be displayed on our screen. Alright so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.